All right, my friends. Well, I'm at Hilltop Wine and Spirits in Oakland, and it is uh, a very windy, blustery day today. So uh, let's go in here and check these guys out. They always have fun and interesting stuff out here. So, uh, man, is it windy today. Woo. All right, well, let's see what we got going on here. I always love this Basil Hayden display with its uh, this uh, awesome display of belts that they have here. So. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna just go through here and kind of do like we normally do. Go ahead, just go through and do a, a normal uh, review. Look at that good-looking guy up there. Looks like the Rock. Um, I do want to ask a favor. Uh, I am going to do an experiment. I would like everyone to just comment either cheers or give a thumbs up in the comments. Uh, got a little bit of information the other day about possible how. How that messes with the or changes the algorithm and how much better your videos do so i, I actually I, I have a, a better idea than just putting cheers i'm going to pick a bottle of uh of four, i think i'm gonna pick four bottles if you can pick like just give you the first letter of the of the bottle or the year uh it's gonna be one of the first bottles i buy uh for the bar it's gonna be one of the bigger ones so uh, elijah craig is one so you could put ec uh, probably not going to get the rye, but I'm, I'm going to try to get some of the bigger bottles. So e EC for uh, Elijah Craig. <laughs> you could do BH for uh, Basil Hayden. Uh, oh, they got the Traveler here. That's fun. Got, looks like they've got almost all the Balcones in here. I've not had any of these uh, single single malt. Uh, I know my buddy uh, Drizzo it has some of that. They got the Penelope here. Joseph Magnus. Should I should I include the rabbit hole in one of these? I've not had any of the rabbit hole, so uh, I don't know. Tell me if that's one of the big bottles I should get. And really, the big bottles is going to be for uh, just kind of behind me in the bar. You know, kind of what I'm going to serve people when they come over, and uh, kind of when we hang out. Uh, I mean, they can have anything they want if someone chooses their chooses or chose to visit me. So, all right, let's see here. We got. Here and the rest kind of goes into scotch, so we'll come down here. I've heard good stuff about this, and I've heard good stuff about this as well. I want to try the pumpernickel. I've heard a lot of people say that that's really good. I will have all of these bottles uh, uh, eventually. I think I just have the rye right now, and it's about halfway. Uh, great value for those. <clears throat> I've not had a ton of mixers, uh, but I heard a lot of good things about that. We were going to go to the distillery when I did the tour, and I didn't make it, so I'll probably do that one next time. So, uh, should I get a, one of the big old Foresters? You have to tell me which one of the big old Foresters you, I should get, but I uh, probably won't get the mint julep. But got one of those, it's good. Let's see, we're looking at 129.8. 129.8, so that's there. And I get the big Jack Daniels. I really want, to be honest with you, I want to get the big three liter one that I saw. <laughs> I think that'd be fun to have. A lot of people talking about this stuff. Uh, I heard it's very minty, so I probably will avoid it. But you know, I got some little bit of whiskey in there from 1928. Bacada, Bacada. I don't know. A bullet bottle would be good. So bullet. So put. I guess you'd have to spell out bullet or put bull. If I should get the bullet, or you know, these bottles are so pretty. The 1792, uh, the Knob Creek Nine. That's another one. You know, KC Nine. Another great bottle. I'm gonna have to try to get. Uh, oh, the Woodford Reserve. That's another good one. So definitely going to focus on the big bottles just because I have the room now and I really want to do it. So I believe I've had any. I may have had some of that. I've got to go back and look at my notes. I have a terrible memory. Get, don't get old if you can. There's a pretty bottle. I don't see any dunkers. Wouldn't it be cool to get a big bottle of uh, I guess that's not really a big bottle, but it's a bigger bottle. I'm really wanting the big bottle. The four roses. I guess you'd put four in a row there. <clears throat> to get the I guess get the leader of uh, Wild Turkey 101 let's see you got the larceny I don't know if that's another one I should be getting or the crown rule uh, do I need to have a get a big thing of crown rule take me back to my youth I guess everybody needs a big dickle on their shelf as well uh, did not Enjoy that when I was there. So uh, Pendleton's another good one that uh, I might think about getting. I like that price as well. So 
just put down the uh, kind of go through and uh, uh, go roast. <laughs> and I know there's a big bottle of this, and you don't have to put Willet in there because I'll just uh, I know you're you're uh, just spamming me. So Ezra Brooks, I don't think I've had much of that either. So I do like the price. Like I said, I just want the bigger bottles behind me. I think they're going to be nice. I've got a big bottle of the uh, Buffalo Trace already. Uh, need to replace my bottle of Cooper's Craft. It's almost gone. I right, get a big old thing of Old Trader. Got some of the flavored stuff. I don't know that I will. I probably will, as a joke, have a couple of Old Smokies, especially if we ever make it back on the other side of the state. Um, I don't know that I'll have mint chocolate chip. I, didn't, I don't know if I have to refrigerate that stuff after I open it. Could be. That is a big bottle of Blackberry, so I don't know. Some people have said the regular bird dog's not too bad. Maybe one time. After I, after I get some of my other bottles built up, you guys can tell me which one of those I should be getting and I'll, I'll do it. I'll break down and do it. Jim Bean. You know, I make fun of that and that might be the only stag we get. That looks like cherry. Is this cherry? Black cherry liquor infused with Kentucky straight bourbon. Now that's definitely interesting. Jim Bean. And yes, Evan Williams. Evan Williams is going to happen regardless. So everyone's going to put uh, Evan Williams in there. So Evan Williams, is, you, don't, you don't have to put an EW in there unless you're wanting one of the others. But uh, and I've got the American Hero Edition of 1783, so I'll be doing that one. All right, now I've got to pin down here a little bit. <clears throat> I have the uh, very old Barton bottle of the bond. But I don't have a regular one, so maybe I do. There's my dad's favorite. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to get a big old bottle of Kentucky Tavern if I can. And, uh, you know, when I see my dad's stuff, it makes me think about getting on, you guys should get on the Discord. And, uh, and we just crossed, a, went over 500, and uh, we had that broke up into cities and states and and food and anything else you can imagine in there. So uh, if you want some channel made, I'll be glad to do it for you. So uh, I'm really proud of it that all the people are getting together and they're really helping each other hunt. I think uh, I think that's just really cool that people are are. are helping each other in cities. Hey, I saw this, and this is where you can get it. Just fantastic, so. I know people don't like hearing about that, so. Right, there's the lead slingers. Forty Creek, there's the Rebel 100. Rebel 100's another one I'll probably get. Oh, if I could just find some old granddad. That's the, that's the bonded right there. Oh, I'm almost high. Oh, oh, and here's the barrel proof of that. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Don't get old, kids. So that's the barrel proof of that. Got the redemption. <clears throat> I can't remember what my buddy, uh, Canadian Chris, said about the bare face, but I do like the bottle. So. Also, if you hadn't had a chance, now would be a good time to like and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. That really helps. And I've heard tale commenting really helps not just in the live but if you're watching this live after it's over just drop down into the uh, regular chat and uh, just tell me what big bottle I should buy I mean whoever when whatever the vote comes out to I'll buy that on Saturday I'll spend some money and uh, much to the chagrin of everybody I've not had any of this but I need to get one of these and open them and see what the bottle looks like just would look good on the shelf best bargain there is I gotta pick up a bottle of this for my uh, I got a friend coming into town we're gonna have to put that over some ice cream Jura 10 if you're thinking about even remotely into getting into scotch and you're not afraid of a little bit of peat that is the one to go with right there Old thing of doers I will get a big old thing of monkey shoulder too and famous grouse will be another one too so we'll, we'll vote on scotch elsewhere and I'll kind of rank them too as they go along um, we'll uh, you know I get the one that people vote for, then I'll move on down to the other one and, and kind of go on down. I'll go over here and take a quick look at the tequila. Oh wait, I forgot. They have a grocery section over here. They got nacho cheese, they got um, avocado dip, biscuits and gravy. That's a, that's awesome. You can clean your uh, hair brushes, your, like with the old barber stuff here. Well, that's an even better one. All right, so. Ooh. Oh, shouldn't have touched it. There we go. And I will be getting uh, more tequila. I own the Lalo. Uh, I bought uh, 
the tater aid that uh, Buffalo Trace uh, had their bottles. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Uh, I am a you know I'm a bottle guy, so uh, I'll definitely have some of these inner inner. I don't know. I guess I have to figure out how I'm going to set my bar up. I, I worked about four hours yesterday in there. Um, you'll start seeing some videos coming from there once I have internet run out there. Uh, there's not much internet, and I'll be doing lives out there. So probably um, at just shy of about 10 or 12 from 4,700 subscribers. When I get to 5,000 subscribers, I think I'm going to do a live and uh, maybe do a mail haul and just kind of walk through and kind of see how things are. And I need to do an update on Instagram and uh, maybe do a walkthrough. There's just nothing to see yet. I'm just trying to... We moved in this weekend, and there was so much... Uh, there was so much stuff that had to be moved around. We had to put some of it in the shed, in the shed, or my wife calls it the shed. I call it my uh, my bar, you know. Yeah. And uh, we had to. Uh, There's no place to even sit or sit down there. I kind of sat down there last night a little bit, and took a breath, and then had to get back to work. So excited on that. I'm gonna see what we can do there. Probably going way too fast, but I will put this in 4K. So if you can push it up in uh, 4k and you can watch the video and then pause it and kind of see what you want to do there and then there's the bottom guys I don't, let's see I'm not seeing anything with Montezuma I had plenty of that as a child all right let's see here all right I'm gonna go over here I am gonna breeze through over here and someone actually asked to see uh, beer I think they don't really have much beer here. Yeah, they don't do much of the of the fun beer over here. So, a lot of craft beer here in town. It's kind of a big thing for us right now. Um, sherry cast, that's interesting to me. So, just do a quick thing of that. We'll be getting a big bottle of this because I like the Kraken. And if you know why I like the Kraken, then you know you know. You've been around a long time, so we can see that. All right, well, let me get over here. I'm going to walk behind the counter. Like I own the place. No, they, they, they let me do it. They're fantastic. Giving me the option to walk back here. So, oh, somebody's eating potato soup. It sounds, it smells like potato soup. So, all right, we got the Rock Hill Farm. The half of the beef. They got the small batch up there. And I don't want to trip today. They got the Eagle Rare. They got the Stag. They got, oh, they got the 22A up there. Got the Jefferson's Ocean. They got the uh, looks like that is the Blanton's Gold. That looks like regular Blanton's, and that's the uh, 1792 bottle uh, of bond. I wish I'd gotten that when I had an opportunity. And there's the Joseph Magnus. I've tried a couple samples of that. That's great. Uh, and there's the Special Reserve and the Weller. Oh, let's go up here. I'm trying not to. Let's see. Yep. If you can see that or not. Got the Jack Daniels 10. All right, now I gotta back out a little bit. We got, I think this is the only place in town in West Tennessee that I've seen the Master Stillers uh, bottles, and they've got two. They had three, now they only have two. They've got the High West, they got the Balvini 21, they got the Blue Line, and they've got the, uh, let's see, I got that over there. Somebody's talking, I don't wanna talk over them. All right, we'll kind of go through here real quick, and just one more time. Like and subscribe, vote on what you want me to pick up and I'll come back out here and I will get uh, one of the bottles that you guys vote on. Just put like uh, in there and we'll go. So. Oh, hey. <laughs> somebody, somebody's selling some meat barbecue, so. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that cute little bottle and that cute little bottle. I like that nine right there. Oh, people have asked about this too. It's a barrel proof rye, the twin blend, and that one. So. Yeah, Jimmy, he, man, he won't. Uh, All right. Well, you, 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 like you heard it. Go to Jimmy, so. All right, guys. <laughs> Slanja, and uh, yeah, thanks for all you do for me. Appreciate it.